Stephen, let's start with the performance. How did you reflect on your, your side tonight? I think there was a... I think box to box. I don't think there was nothing in the game. Um, I think we had a lot of control, especially in the first uh, 20 minutes. We had a lot of regain and goal opportunities. Um, but we never uh, produced enough around the area today. We never really produced too many clear-cut chances. Mm -hmm. Our best chances have come from set-piece deliveries, and we've had the two chances that they've gone and punished us with. So um, I'm not too disappointed with the overall performance, but we've lost the penalty boxes tonight, so obviously the result stings a bit. Do you feel that the, the goal came against the runner play? You mentioned there that the Rangers started quite well. Yeah, listen, match. I don't think we were totally in dominant. I don't think we were dominant, but we were certainly playing well. We were, you know passing the ball well, we had control. So the goal probably come at a moment when we were controlling large parts of it, but I think overall after the 90 minutes, they've probably created the better chances out of the two teams. Alan's been more busier. Having said that, we've lost it on a set piece. And then we've had two big set piece moments where we've had, we haven't got clear contact on the ball. Were you disappointed with the, the chances they created? Do you feel that they were due to the changes in defence or was it a, a wider team issue, do you think? No, listen, we, we defend as a team. Um, I think in Europe you're playing at a certain level where you'd expect, especially away from home, the opposition are going to have certain moments and um, Alan's obviously made a couple of good stops. But I think over the course of the 90 minutes, I don't think there's been too much in it. You know, they may be slightly edged it. Um, but these games are decided by moments. They've took one of their moments from a set play. We've had two. We haven't took either. Unfortunately, we lose the game 1-0. You were forced into an early change with Juninho Bakuna going off. Was that an injury or was it tactical? Uh, he, he had a problem in, in, in his quad area. I don't think it's too big, but um, I think where he's at, it didn't make sense to, to take the risk because we can't lose him for three, four weeks. So hopefully we've got to the injury just before it's got, got too bad. Can I ask your thoughts on, on Glenn Kamara's second yellow? What did you make of the sending off? I thought both um, both yellow cards were, were harsh. I think, look, the second one, when you're on a yellow, you give the referee a decision to make. We understand that. But I think the first one's soft. I don't think that's enough to be a yellow card. It's just a foul for me and get on with the game. So um, I'm slightly disappointed with that, but we have to accept it. Were you aware of Boone when he was on the ball from, from where you were standing? Not while the game was going on. Um, I'm obviously engrossed in the game. I'm trying to think what we can do to get back in the game. I thought once we did go to 10 men, we, we had to obviously throw caution to the wind. I thought we took risks and I thought we were good. Uh, probably better than we was uh, uh, with 11 men at times. Um, but if that's the case and it is the truth, it's obviously very disappointing. And um, But I'm, I'm not surprised because... You know, we're playing behind closed doors, apparently, mm -hmm. for, for a reason. And um, it's not the first time there's been issues at this place. Yeah, that, that's the thing. If, if it is true and if it is apparent, is it even more disappointing given who was supposedly in the crowd tonight? Well, look, I can only um, comment on the facts. They're not really facts just yet. But if they do become facts, it's mm -hmm. really disappointing. But I'm not surprised because it's happened here before. And the powers that be don't do enough. You know, tonight the punishment was meant to be a fine and behind closed doors where you don't play in front of any people. OK, there's kids at the game and children, I, I understand that, but it's near enough a full house, so they're not getting punished playing a game behind closed doors. Mm -hmm. it's, that's not the reason why we've lost the game, but my opinion is if you're going to find someone and punish them, go with the full punishment, empty stadium, I'm going to find. Mm -hmm. And more. Yeah, I mean, it's unfortunate that we're talking about it again, but just back to matters on the mm. on the park. You know, where does this leave you now? Does it put a big onus on the next three games Look, particularly? It, 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 you, you don't want to lose two games, especially your first two. Of course you don't. But if we go and win the next game, which is a must-win game now, it's a must-win, we, we've got no choice. Um, hopefully it gives us an outside chance, but we certainly realise where we are. We respect where we are. We have to win the next game. Thanks for talking to us. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Stephen.